Not a, uh, I did see you, you actually skip that stop sign. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's see your hands. Can you guys go against the wall over there? Put your hands up, please. All right, man, I'm gonna read your rights, man. You got the right to remain silent. Hands up, hands up, hands up. One for less, like, going less, going less, going less. Taser, 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 gun, 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 gun. In traffic. I don't want attached. Adam one, uh, I would, I would, I'm gonna let one Zulu sixteen advise based on the conditions of the traffic. I would say probably no, not right now. Since six. Adam one, since we're now on a on a much better road, go ahead. You have my permission. You okay to with KT? Copy that. On foot still, on foot still. On foot down the trailer park right now. Again, uh, black male Burberry saddle shirt. I got lethal, I got lethal. I got lethal. Adds up, adds up, adds up. 
Hands, hands up, hands up, hands up. One for less, like going less, going less, going less. I got none on list. Taser, 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 gun, 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 gun. Drop the gun, drop the gun, man, drop the gun. Drop the gun. I got lethal, I got lethal. Shot I got lethal as well. Get down on your knees. Hands up, down on your knees, man. We got shots fired, we got shots fired. Suspect surrendering. I know status of suspect's health and uh, officer stand by. You guys hit? You guys good? Yeah, we're good. good. I can go in. I got left. I got seat. cover. Don't move, Mr. Diaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who shot? Was it the suspect that shot no, or was it us? That was me, Delta 88. Okay. I don't want you can lower signal 100. We're going to have the suspect in custody. Show us, uh, Fire still on you. Cool. Uh, Four. Let's no, get I EMS. How do you guys hurt? Uh, no, I'm good, sir. No, Man, you look at it. I didn't have no fucking ammo. Oh, all right. Let's go. Let's go secure the car. Well, you started turning around on uh, my office, my deputies here, so it's not going to happen, sir. You have the right I mean, to sign anything you say or do. We use it against you in the court of law. You have the right to return. If you can't afford one, we'll be appointed to you by the citizen. It will cost you yourself. Do you understand your rights? Yeah, yeah, I know this shit. All right, he's going to be clear. He's got some cocaine on him. Got it. Got okay. my, get him over to my Victor, what the hell wrong with you, man? He dropped a micro on the ground. I, I have it. I'll process it for you. No, Mr. No Diaz, are you hurt ammo. anywhere? Oh, nah. It's just a little taser. Taser ain't okay. shit. All right, well, we can get medical down to get those prongs out. I don't no, want to no, clarify. Cool uh, it's going to be Delta 88 who fired his weapon. It's going to be no me who fired number. the taser. Uh, at this point, BCSS is going to have him in custody. Uh, LSPD, thank, thank you for your guys' help. We appreciate it, of course. We should be cool for if you guys wanted to clear. We're going to go ahead and um, secure the car, search his, um, day for a chase. and uh, stand yeah, by. Yeah, well, you, you kind of uh, made the wrong mistake on that one. Yeah, oh well. Would you guys like the weapon to process in Sandy? If not, I can take care of it. Um, you know what? I, I got gloves, man. I can take it from you. Alrighty, there you go. It's, Thanks, uh, it's uh, seems to be unloaded. Okay, gotcha. I appreciate that. I'm not sure if it's me or not, but you're coming in extremely low. What's going on, Lieutenant? I think we should have the subject in custody. Um, yes, sir. Looks like PD's helping us out. Uh, what I would like one of you guys to do, I'd say Lieutenant, if you can, please, since you were here first. Um, just go ahead and uh, basically we're going to get Victor cleared up by EMS, but can you do scene management and make sure everything is all clear? Uh, this way LSPD can make their way out and see if we need any BCSO units still to stick around. Okay, very good. Pull into your red at the gas station, sir. Right in front of the garage door. That's good. That's good. Turn off the engine, please. Item 1, 1011, gonna be 1054 Polito Boulevard, Cross Cascabel. Gonna be at the Zero gas station. Uh, with the white Mercedes occupied uh, two times, I believe. Can I get one additional 32? 84, I'm on the Copy. Marshall Corleone. What a knife for it to be raining, huh? Hello. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Or good, uh, good evening. Good afternoon. Hi, I'm doing pretty good. Pastor, how are you doing, sir? Yeah. I'm doing great. Uh, That's good. My name is uh, Sheriff Patel, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, with me is going to be Deputy Jason Jones with the uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The uh, reason I got you both okay. stopped is because, uh, first of all, I, I'm not, not a, uh, I did see you, you actually skip that stop sign uh, right over on Cascabel, right over there next to that apartment building. Yeah, you just took that vehicle, uh, overtook that vehicle on the left, and then just immediately tried making the right. Um, is that any reason why you didn't stop at the stop sign and try taking over the vehicle at an intersection? Yeah. Is it so? Because uh, it, it, it's raining so heavily, that's why I was not able to see the stop sign. Okay. It's so foggy climate officer, like, as well as you can see currently. So I was focusing like I should be kept in a track and I was trying to, you know, focus on a track. So that's why I was not 
I just uh, was not able to see the stop sign. Okay, well, I'm just letting you know, man. Um, I'm just letting you know that that uh, that even if it was raining outside, man, I think the first that I think the first reflex is to not recklessly drive, right? It's to be a little more extra careful on the road and try to make sure that you um you you maintain your driving uh in in, in perception yeah. with the weather. Yeah, officer, we agree that, but uh, uh vehicles fog lights are not working. The fog lamps, I don't know why. Okay. Uh, we are going we are going to mechanic for that reason only that why they are not working so due to that reason we are not able to see the road uh the path we are saying like we have to ignore the stop signature so maybe that could be the reason we were not able to see the stop sign. Okay man. Uh second second thing I gotta talk to you about man is your license plate. Um I don't know if you ever had a chance to take a look at your license plate, but did you notice that you have a state patrol logo on the back of your license plate? Or on the left of your license plate? Okay, man. Well, here's the deal, man. Uh, do you got your driver's license on you? Yeah. Can you go ahead and uh, pass that over to me? Yeah. You might have to step out, sir, in order to give it to me. That's the only way it'll work. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just let me grab it from my glove box. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. Sorry, sir. The rain is so loud. Can you can you tonight and speak up? Yeah. Let me know if the other uh, unit code zero for a long period of time. Copy that. Um, 10-4, start your way up, please. I appreciate that. There you go, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Uh, what's uh? How come we're in a? Uh, if you don't mind me asking, you got a big duffel bag on you? Uh, yeah. Okay. It just for like I'm carrying my cloth like it's been really heavy, raining so heavily. Okay. So. If, uh, so we would like to change, like if we get spot to change, so we can change our cloth. That's so that's why we are carrying this double bag. Okay, man. This is my buddy, and as well as I'm carrying his clothes. We were just uh, hanging around in a city to have some fun, you know. Okay, I got you, man. And yeah. um, yeah. okay, man, no problem. You don't have any weapons inside the vehicle. You don't have any weapons on you, right? No, 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 no. Okay, man, you can have a seat back in the car. Hold on. Sir, passenger, do you have an ID on you, sir? Yeah, uh, do you need my ID? Um, yes please, that would be nice. I appreciate that, sir, just so we can document who we're speaking to. Alright, I'll get it for you. What's going on, Deputy Harris? Uh, how's it going? Uh, the storm's insane. It is, come and sit in my car. Well, he there was a vehicle stopped at the stop sign. He overtook it on the left and then made a right-hand turn. So basically, um, improper passing at an intersection, uh, failed to stop at a stop sign, and then also has a license plate problem at the same time. Yeah. Is that a? That looks like a Leo license plate. That is a license uh, Leo license plate. All right, Mr. Corle Corleon. Is that how you say your last name, Corleon? Yeah. All right, sir. Here's the deal, man. So you're you got a pretty good record, man. But um, having a, a, a state police license plate and at the same time also passing that stop sign in the middle of this rainy weather, man, is not good, man. So you got to be careful with your driving, okay? So you're gonna be getting two citations today for that, okay? Okay. Uh, I, uh, like I would like to ask, like uh, this license plate uh, is not like uh, I have been, uh, you know. Registrar took it from somebody. This is given me by the dealership itself. Okay, you can basically visit a mechanic shop to get that fixed. Okay, so you want to go to a mechanic shop. Uh, there's one on Route 68, and I believe there should be one over Route 68. I'm not sure what the other one is, but you can go to those two or one of those, and then uh, get the um, get that fixed up under license plates. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. All right, man. And uh, could you please sign on the bottom right here uh, of the citation? It's not an admission yeah. of guilt. It's just a promise to take care of the court date on a for the court date. Yeah. Here's your license back as well. You can just sign on the bottom. Okay. So basically, you're gonna charge with me the two citation charges. One is for the license plate, and another is for the stopping sign. That's right. Am I correct? Yes. Uh, but so, as I stated, like, like I was not able to see stop sign. It it was done by the mistake. 
Like okay, I'm man. Well, there, well, there was a vehicle right in front of you, so uh, you gotta be, yeah. gotta be extra careful, man. The, the vehicle has the tail lights on, headlights on, all that kind of stuff. So you gotta make sure you wait, okay? Okay, but could you please do some kind like it warning instead of raising citation for that thing? I'm sorry, sir. There's not much I can do, man. Especially considering the weather and everything like that. There's not much I can really cut slack for that, man. You gotta be more careful. All right, so. I'll, I'll just sign. Can I get a pen? Can I borrow a pen? Please? Yep. Yep. There's a there's a pen. I, I give you the pen right what right with the citation, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry. No problem. I was not able to. Say. All right. There you go. Appreciate that, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, my driving license is with you. I think. Um, I gave it, I believe I might have given it to your passenger on accident, so, or accident, so you might be, he, he can give it back to you uh, as soon as he gets a chance. Okay. Alright, gentlemen, I appreciate your time, guys. Um, as soon as we get out of here, you guys are free to go, okay? Yeah. Alright, have a good rest of your, guy, have a good rest of your night, guys. Stay safe. Same to you, officer. Have yes, a good night. You too. Have a safe one, Jason. Adam, we can show uh, traffic stop code 4, we're gonna be clear. I'll be 10-8 and available. God, so the rain was killing my ears. Um, you guys won't be able to hear it as loud as I did in the video because I'm gonna turn it down, but uh, I'll tell you what, man, those rain effects were very, very, very loud. Uh, but nonetheless, that guy got issued a citation uh, for driving that recklessly in the rain. Um, there was no reason to drive like that in the rain. Uh, there were taillights on the vehicle, headlights on the vehicle in front of him. He could have waited, could have been patient, and he's also got a state patrol license plate. So there's that. Yo, since um, we didn't actually get a call from a local, are we treating this NLC-1 or are we just looking around? That's what I've always been doing with these. Um, anytime we got like a 911 call, I've always treated it as like an NLC-1. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Black Mercedes right ahead. Yeah, we got a black we work. Show us 23, 1977. We got a black Mercedes parked on the sidewalk. Two individuals wearing all masks arguing with uh, looks like a street worker here. And they got masks on, duffel bag as well. What a box in the vehicle from behind, sir. Uh, Charles, 21, if you're coming here, stepping up, going three. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's see your hands. Can you guys go against the wall over there? Put your hands up, please. Against the wall over there. Put your hands up. Face the wall, please. Gentlemen. Face the wall, hands, please. Face the wall, hands. No, stop moving around. Go face the Guy wall. Guy in the black hands. jacket. Come on. Don't move. Take hands up, man. Hands up. All right, all right. All right. I got, I got one subject to uh, 1015. You good, Adam? One? I'm good, I'm good. I got him in custody. Alright, man, I'm gonna read your rights, man. You got the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be against the court of law. You do have the right to an attorney. If you can afford one, will be appointed by the courts. No cost for yourself at any point in time. You can decide to exercise your rights. You said these rights have reset them to you, sir. What you guys doing out here with masks on and all that kind of stuff, man? 
I do believe at this point in time it's going to be a high rate of speed acceleration. Now, right, right, right. right. Okay, man. All right. I got you, man. Well, listen here. Um, right now, man, you are currently being placed under arrest, okay? Um, or actually, right now, you're, yeah, you're being placed under arrest right now. Uh, especially with this, uh, with this call in mind, all right? Um, appreciate your honesty, of course. What's going on, Chief? I got him in the back here of my seat. All right, man, watch your head as you're coming out, all right? All right. Oh, sorry, Chief, my bad. You may have to scooch over for just a second. All right. Yeah, Mr. Moore, so you were saying, so, um, I guess last where I left off is, uh, about your friend. How much weed did he have on him, man? Because he looked like he just completely took off at a, in a high-speed chase. You, at least, you surrendered, but you had about five pouches. I'm gonna wait, obviously, but do you, did, did he have, like, a lot on him, or what's what's up with that? Uh, I don't know. I think he had about the same amount as I did. We didn't have much on us, to be honest. I had about, what, six? He had maybe, like, seven, seven, eight. What what was your friend's name? Sorry. Uh, Marshall. What was his last name? Marshall Cornwell or something. Marshall something. Corleone, right? Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. Marshall Corleone. All right, stand by. All right, and um, do you know if he had any weapons on him? Because you guys were wearing masks, so it looks like uh, I mean, if you guys had seven pouches of weed, I mean, how much how much does this thing weigh, man? If I weigh the if I weigh the weed. What's it going to come back to? I don't know. Maybe it was like, what, 50 grams of pouch, probably? So, what's that? 50, 50 by uh, 6. The whole account, yeah, 50 uh, grams of weed in each pouch. Um, from the okay. Traffic stop and then to the shooting. Um, he didn't have a gun on him? Does, does he have a gun on him? No? Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, uh, I didn't. But I don't know if he had one in his trunk or something like that. Um, Okay, what was in that duffel bag that he was carrying? Because yeah, I saw him carry it around with him quite a lot in the city, and I saw him with it as well. Um, what's that duffel bag? What's inside of it? Because I asked earlier, and he said it's just his clothing and stuff like that. Is there is there weed inside of it? Drugs? Weapons? Or anything like that inside? Uh, well, it was just a bunch of, like, weed leaves, you know? Like, weed plants. Okay. Okay. It was about, like, what? More than 100 in them? I reckon. Alright, man. Well, I appreciate your honesty in that. Just uh, give me a second here. I'll be right with you, okay? Yeah. Charlie 21, I was going to quickly weigh call. this uh, this weed that I have on him so I can see what I need to charge him with. Alright. We're running a report for his friend right, or the warrant right now. Copy that. He's going to be out talking with Wow. 916s of a pound. That's crazy. Okay. That's quite a lot, actually, to be carrying on on this guy. Um. Okay, so he's gonna get. He's gonna be walking off from his vehicle now. You're gonna be hit. All right. He said that his friend might have the same quantity in those bags as well, um, Chief, and uh, it's 50 grams per. Uh, I have about five baggies, so it's 250 grams. That's about nine sixteenths of a pound. He says he has about maybe seven baggies or seven pouches on him, and uh, and at this point we might be looking at possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell. Yeah, for sure. Mr. Moore, I appreciate you for being so patient. Um, if you want to go and step up over to me, sir, and then we can discuss the final stuff that we need to uh, make sure we understand before we proceed forward. If you want to go ahead and come up on over to the cell. All right, come on over, sir. So here's the deal, man. Um, that amount of weed, you were right, man. About 50 grams per pouch. So that's going to be 250 grams. That is a 9 16 of a pound. All right, that's pretty pretty much a lot, man. I can't cut you any slack on, on intent to sell. But I appreciate you for not resisting. So you're not only going to get one charge, okay? And that's going to be criminal possession. Uh, or sorry, a possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell. Okay, that's going to be about a five-month sentence with time served, okay? 
$850 fine. Um, I really hope your friend can come clean with this man because it seems like a new guy, clean record. You know, we don't. Hopefully he doesn't. Hopefully he makes the same move as you and just surrenders. Uh, right now he's already got a felony evasion stacked on him, uh, reckless driving, reckless endangerment, all that kind of stuff, man. So he's looking at a lot more time than you. So you did the right thing. I'm hoping he does it uh, for his sake. But uh, do you have any questions about your charges, sir? No, nah, no questions. But like, I always knew Marshall was kind of, you know, not the brightest. I knew him since high school, but like, I don't know the guy like on a personal level really. But I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, like trying to help him out. I guess we just needed to make some quick cash, but you know, once you guys showed up, I don't knew that it was over. Basically, I might as well have just, you know, surrendered myself. I don't want to get into all that situation, you know stay in jail for longer than you know just for being charged for one crime really you, you don't deserve this either mr moore this would unfortunately be the first thing that would be that be hitting your record man um just be careful about the people you hang out with man you know be be uh i'm glad you came clean with this it looks it's a it's a good look on you for the judge okay but just be careful who you hang around with okay choose choose better friends man all right uh-huh all right mr moore i wish you nothing but the best of luck man all right all right. Well, thank you, I suppose. You're welcome, Mr. Moore. Take care of yourself.